the small horns. Take out the corresponding yarn. We need to make four small horns in total. Wrap the yarn around your knit finger. Then bring it up to your index finger. Okay. Work into your magic ring. Make loop around your mid finger. And pinch the crossover of the yarn with your thumb and mid finger. Insert the hook into the loop on mid finger. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. A magic ring is formed on mid finger. In round one, work one chain stitch for some crochets and one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn on the hook, pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. Then work for some crochets. Insert hook into the magic ring. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Two loops on the hook now. The yarn and hook pull through both loops on the hook. That's one song crochet. Place a marker in the first stitch. Continue to work three more song crochets in the same way. For some crochets are done. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Work one snip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Remove the marker. Insert hook into this marker stitch. through the underneath of the V-shape. Okay. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the second one. Round one is done. The stitches for rounds two to three are all the same. We'll demonstrate round two. Please finish round three by yourself. Let's start. In round two, start with one chain stitch, then work for some crochets. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn hook. Pull the yarn through the loop and hook. Okay. Then work for some crochets. Once some crochet is done, mark the first stitch. Continue to work three more some crochets in the same way.
for some crochets are done. Work on slip stitch. Make sure to tighten up when you work the slip stitch. Round 2 is done. Please finish round 3 by yourself. Again, work one chain stitch for some crochets and one slip stitch. Round 3 is done. Break yarn, leaving a long yarn tail for sewing. Pull the tail out. Cut off the excess end. One small horn is completed. Make three more small horns in the same way. Please finish them by yourself. Then we need to make two big horns in total. The first three rounds of the big horn are the same as those for the small horn. Please finish rounds 1 to 3 by yourself. Round 4 of the big horn is the same as round 2 of the small horn. Please finish round 4 of the big horn by yourself. Round 4 is done. Break yarn, leaving a long yarn tail for sewing. Pull the tail out. Cut off the excess end. The big horn is completed. Please make one more big horn in the same way by yourself. 